You may remember back in April when a father and his seven children, eight people, were found dead in their beds inside their home in Princess Anne. The culprit was carbon monoxide poisoning. Police say the home had no working electricity, so the father had placed a generator inside the kitchen as their source of power. That generator was what released the carbon monoxide into the home. Now, carbon monoxide is a byproduct of, of burning fuel, gas stoves, furnaces, other gas burning appliances that don't have proper ventilation. The toxic gas can't be smelled, you can't see it, it's not detected until too late. And if that isn't sad enough, making things worse is knowing that the deaths may have been avoided if the family had carbon monoxide detectors inside the house. But that's not the only detector that could possibly save your life. Yeah, tomorrow live, Sean Stryker joins us now from the Salisbury Fire Department. Now, Sean, you've got some important information that we all need to know. Jimmy and Lisa, you know, that's such a sad story. So we want to do everything we can to help prevent that from happening again. I'm here with Chief Hoppus from the Salisbury Fire Department. Chief, thanks for joining me. It's our pleasure. Now, all these detectors, they're so important. We're going to talk about three today, starting with a smoke detector. We hear it time and time again on how they're important, but reiterate the importance to me. Well, it's extremely important because it, it serves as our first defense or our first alert for, for occupants of any structure and mostly in the home. Uh, we, we, we think of them mostly within our residence and waking us up in the middle of the night for that is their intended purposes. And what we know is that uh, about 62% of residential fire deaths that occur in the country are, uh, are happen because there are no working smoke alarms in the home. Which so it's extremely important. And it's sad to think of that. If mm -hmm. you had a working smoke detector, they could have been avoided. And they're so important that you guys actually give away smoke detectors for free. Yeah, we actually do. And uh, we, w with great partnerships with our local community, um, Delmarva Power, Home Depot, Lowe's, App, um, Ace Hardware, provide very generous donations to us in the form of smoke detectors and nine volt batteries. Uh, because we, we do give those away uh, to residents who need them and uh, who, or, or who need batteries replaced. We'll and replace them as well. And we'll put the information on how to get those smoke detectors on our website. I also want to talk about carbon monoxide uh, detectors. And now we just heard about the tragedy in Princess Anne. Mm -hmm. Why are these so important? Well, the, the difference between smoke and carbon monoxide is that you can see, taste, smell, uh, smoke. At carbon monoxide, you can't. It is an invisible killer of, of many in the country because there are, there, you, you don't know that it exists unless you have something to detect it. And uh, it calls primarily by, um, by inefficient burning and open flames in the home. Uh, accumulation ends up, with, ends up killing people, as we know very tragically, that the event that happened in Princess Anne. So it's burning fuel that causes it's, the carbon it's, monoxide. It's, it's the product of incomplete combustion, of, or, or open flame burning. Yes. Yeah. So the smoke alarms and the carbon monoxide detectors, I've heard of those before. This one is a, a, an explosive gas detector. I've never heard of these before. Yeah. What, what is this about? And they're, 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 they're not new to our industry, but they're new to the residential consumer in that uh, they, this particular model um, monitors the levels of propane, natural, or methane gas. Uh, very specifically. And what it's designed to do is to measure and monitor the, the levels of each of those gases mm -hmm. and alert us before they get to explosive or flammable limits so that we can evacuate the home. So what could cause th these, these alarms to go off? A, a simple example would be uh, in, with an older stove or even a gas fireplace that is uh, the gas is on but the flame or the pilot light is out so you're pouring pure propane or natural or methane gas into the home and when that happens, if it raises to combustible or um, explosive limits, it's very dangerous. So real quick, I want to say it's really important. It's important to have these, but it's important to make sure they work and they have yeah. batteries. Yeah. So check it. You're saying every time you change the clock, check yeah. the battery? We, we have a program where every time, every twice a year, when we move our clocks forward and backwards, we recommend changing the battery mm -hmm. uh, with a new one. Uh, and then we re also recommend that they be tested monthly by pushing the test button on the detector so that to determine whether they're still working or not. Oh, Chief, thanks so much for this information. If you want to hear it again, all you have to do is go to our website, WBOC.com, and click on our picture at the top of the page. Jimmy and Lisa, back to you guys. Important, important stuff. Sean, thank you. Thank and, you. And Chief, thank you very much for that as well. It's important to keep your family safe, but as one set of parents learned recently, you can't protect your children from everything. Up next, we're going to hear the story of a 17-year-old student who experienced an injury out of the blue and essentially was dead for 20 minutes. What he says he saw when he was out will astound you.
The amount of bullying going on across schools in the country would also probably astound you. Still ahead, we hear how one high school teacher plans to put an end to it. And it's not by separating the kids, but more so bringing them together, all in the name of art. But first, you know Del Marva Life is all about community, and that includes your community. Is there something going on in your neighborhood? We'd love to hear about it and see your photos from the event. Send the information our way along with any pictures you'd like to share. You can reach out to us and share the information at DelmarvaLife.com or like us on Facebook and give it to us there. Del Marva Life, we'll be right back.